Hi, it's Ken Gill of the Oregonian, and here are the three things I'll be watching this week in college football. First, the sixth-ranked Oregon Ducks play Cal at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. That's suburban San Francisco. It's the Niners Stadium. It's beautiful. However, I question how many people are going to be at the game. I certainly don't think many Cal students are going to make the trek from East Bay. And you have to remember that the World Series is going on and the San Francisco Giants are playing in it. Uh, Cal games are not spectacularly well attended in most cases anyway, and moving it away from Cal's home stadium I think is problematic. I questioned on, in a blog post online earlier this week how many people would go, and I got an email from Roger Hacker of the, uh, the Niners who said that more than 60,000 tickets had been distributed. And that been distributed figure got me wondering, so I emailed him back and asked if the distributed figure were sold tickets and he said no tickets distributed which sounds to me like they've papered the house I don't think many people are going to be there regardless of how many tickets are in circulation big game for the Ducks uh, they seem to have got their offensive rhythm back they're playing better on defense the defense will be challenged this is a very similar offense to the one that Washington State went up and down the field uh, with against them at in Pullman However, uh, I think the Ducks are, are a more confident and more seasoned group now. I know that was just a few weeks ago, but I, I think they're putting the pieces together. I expect an easy Oregon victory. Uh, second uh, thing I'll be watching, Oregon State, Stanford. Uh, Stanford's been an uh, underwhelming team so far this year, particularly on offense. I think this is an opportunity for Oregon State, uh, one that Beavers need to seize. I thought they really missed a chance uh, to win it against Utah. Uh, it's not that they didn't give a good effort, they lost in double overtime, but that game at home was winnable. If the Beavers had won it, I think they would have set themselves up for a really good season. I think they can come back a little bit now uh, and get that game back by winning at Stanford. It won't be easy. Stanford's defense is excellent, uh, but this is an opportunity for the Beavers. And third, I think the game of the week for the Pac-12 this week is USC at Salt Lake City. Uh, against Utah. Very difficult place to play for a visiting team. It's a night game. Uh, the, the home crowd will be revved up. This is uh, Utah's chance to really make a statement for the first time since joining the Pac-12. Um, the Utes defense is very salty. Uh, offensively, I don't know if Utah's quite as strong. I think they've got real issues at quarterback. They've played two guys. Uh, neither one has really seized the job. Um, very good running back, but um, I don't know. USC's uh, playing very well. I uh, really put the hammer down on Colorado last week. Um, quarterback Cody Kessler is, seems to be coming into his own. Uh, so a key game really for both teams. They both uh, need to win if they're going to mount a serious challenge at the Pac-12 South title. So I'm Ken Go with the Oregonian, and those are my three things to watch this week in college football.